For question 2, we have uh, 6 examples here. Look at the first example. Log e, integrate log e to the power of 2x plus 4. So for this question, I need to apply loss of log. Um, we know uh, if we have a log a power of b, it can be written as a b log a. So for this question, before we integrate, I'm going to uh, change this uh, into the b log a. So uh, as if that the b is uh, 2x plus uh, 4, the power 2x plus 4, I can move the 2x plus 4 to the front. And the log e is equivalent to 1. Log e is equivalent to 1. Meaning that here I have a integrate 2x plus 4 with respect to x. So we just integrate as usual. 2x power of 2 over 2 plus 4x plus c. And then simplify. You get x squared plus 4x plus c. That's it. For the question b. Want to integrate the 3 power of x log 3. Uh, we must know that the log 3 is a uh, coefficient. The coefficient, we can always factor it out. And what we have is to integrate the exponential function 3 power of x with respect to x. But before we proceed, we must know the formula to integrate the uh, exponential function where the base is not e. Okay, the base, uh, this uh, a can be any positive integer. To integrate this uh, function, we have to copy down the original. Uh, the given function, the given exponential function, and divided by the log a plus constant c. So now I'm going to apply this formula into uh, this question. Log 3, I just copy it down. Integrate this uh, 3 power of x, I got the uh, 3 power of x, and then divided by log 3 plus constant c. Then after that, we can uh, just uh, simplify. And uh, finally, we have a 3 power of x plus c. For the question c, integrate the e power of a negative 3x plus 5 power of x. So I need to integrate two exponential functions where the first, uh, first uh, term is the base of e and the uh, second term I, I have a base of 5. To integrate this uh, first term, integrate the e power of negative uh, 3x. Uh, we just copy down. Copy down the e power of negative 3x and then divided by negative 3. This is the formula. Yeah? When we uh, integra uh, integrate uh, uh, f uh, e power of ax plus b, we have the formula. Just copy down the function of the exponential function and divided by the a. Yeah? This is the formula. So I'm going to integrate using this formula, the first term. And then plus, integrate this uh, exponential function. Just use the, the formula, the formula that I mentioned in the question B. Again, you're going to copy down the exponential function and divide it by the log 5 plus the constant C. And then uh, this can be simplified into uh, 1 over 3 e power of 3x plus 5 power of x over log 5 plus C. Let's move to the question example D. Yeah? For the example d, we need to integrate the exponential function with the base of e. So now we actually refer to this formula. Integrate the e power of a linear. The power is a linear function. We're going to copy down the function itself. And then don't forget to divide by the a. Eh? The a, a is a coefficient of x. Alright. So now I'm going to apply the formula that I showed just now. This is equals to. The 3 is a coefficient we always can copy down. To integrate the e power of negative x, we're going to copy down the function itself and divide it by the coefficient of the x. Coefficient of the x uh, for this function is negative 1. Okay, so we have done the integration for the first term. Second term, the negative I just copy down first. To integrate e power of 4x, copy down the function for e power of 4x. And divided by the coefficient of the x that is 4 plus constant c. Then we simplify, we have a negative 3 over e x minus e power of 4 x over 4 plus c. To integrate this function, first I'm going to separate them into two separate terms first. 
meaning that I'm taking the 4 ES divided by ES, I got 4 plus 3 e power of 2 s over e power of s, meaning that the power of 2 s are going to minus the s, I got my 3 e power of s. So now we have successfully make it into two separate terms. Now we can start to integrate. Integrate 4 with respect to s, you have 4 s. And the 3 again is a coefficient, just copy down first. Integrate e s, you get back your e s. Then plus constant c. For this question, we are going to apply the same concept uh, as the question before. I'm going to separate this into two separate terms, which uh, I have a 7 divided by e power of negative 9x, meaning that I have a 7, just copy down. 1 over e power of uh, negative 9x, meaning that uh, 1 over e power of uh, negative 9x, I'm going to write down here, shows you. Um, and how I'm going to simplify. e power of negative 9x is 1 over e power of 9x. So it means that this is equals to the e power of 9x. So this will produce e power of 9x for the first term. The second term, the negative, just copy down first. Then I have e power of negative 5x divided by e power of negative 9x. So since they have a same base, Meaning that when the operation is divided, the power can be minus, just like this. It can be deducted. Alright, so we have an e power of negative 5x minus negative 9x. I have a 4x, e power of 4x. Alright, so the second term, you will have a e power of 4x. And now we can start to integrate. Integrate 7 e power of 9x. Again, the 7 is a coefficient, copy down. And to integrate the e power of 9x, I have to copy down the e power of 9x. And then divide it by 9. So we have done the integration for the first term. Second term, integrate e power of 4x, same thing. We just copy down the exponential function and we will divide by 4. Alright, plus c. So uh, this is the simplified form. Nothing can simplify anymore, so we just leave it as our final answer.